Hey guys, we got a 40 gallon electric water heater, a three and a half bath house. Not keeping up whenever they got a soaking tub in the master. It doesn't even fill the soaking tub up. So we're looking to upgrade. Some water lines go over to there and then your mains on the other side of the ductwork here. And we got two bathrooms upstairs, one on the first, one and a half on the first floor. So that feeds the first floor half bath, second floor, second floor. And then this spot over here runs the first floor master bath. Main coming in there. Gas line is there, so we're gonna need to run a dedicated gas line. We got a 250,000 BTU current, but we got two furnaces, a stove, and a fireplace. That's already using what we have here. So we'll just run the gas line just like they did. Comes over, down this way, down over here. So they wanted to move the water heater away from this side. We're actually gonna mount it on the back side of this furnace on the wall here. So I'll mount it on this wall. Just somewhere along here. And once we're on this side, we got joists that we can go out with our PVC venting. We already have the furnaces. The furnace and the radon both go out right there. So then I walked out there, we got plenty of space on this side to go. Panels here. So we got an Eaton panel, plenty of space. That one's for the existing electric water heater. So we can reuse that spot or add one. And then just run the new circuit over, over to there. Floor drain is here. And then I talked about running a recirculating line to the furthest point that we can that makes sense for this house. Since we're taking and moving it further away. They'll walk out. Uh, we're in the city, so we'll have street parking on this one. And these are the steps to go up and down.